Hey, it's Lily. So I've gotten a lot of requests on people just asking questions on what kind of foundation I use and how I apply it, um, how I do contour, and just my everyday um, foundation routine. So I decided I would make a video that pretty much explains exactly how I do my contouring, how I do um, my foundation, my highlights, um, everything about foundation. So um, yeah, I wanted just to show you guys how I do it and I hope you enjoy and I hope it helps. Um, hope it's not too, it is kind of long, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't want it to make it too long, but it is a process. Um, also, after, I mean, after I put all of my foundation on, all I did was, um, did just a quick brow. Um, I didn't do any eyeshadow today. I just did, um, a wing using NYX Studio Line Liquid Liner, Liquid Eyeliner in Black. And this is my favorite eyeliner at the moment. It does not smudge. It doesn't go anywhere. I love it. It's my favorite. And, um, I, yeah. So I put, um half a pair of false eyelashes to the outer corner of my eye. Um, I did a little bit of white liner under on the waterline and I put a little bit of black on the outside. Nothing crazy. And on my lips, I'm using my favorite um, NYX Extreme Lip Cream. This one is my favorite. It's my favorite color. I feel like it works for everybody's skin. And it's just such a great, nice pink. And it I've used it on a lot of different people. And it works for them. My mom loves this one. And she is much darker than I am. And she loves it. And it looks great on her. So I feel like this is really universal. And it's in shade Candyland. So go pick this one up. It's really awesome. Um, yeah, I don't have any blush on... Um, no bronzer, it's all contour. So if you like, stay tuned. Okay, so first thing that I always recommend you do is moisturize your face when you get out of the shower. When you take a shower, you lose a lot of oils from your face and um, my face is really dry, but my nose is really oily. And what I use to moisturize, like people might think it's weird, but this is what works for me and it always has, is Lubriderm. This lotion is a lifesaver for me. Once I put it on my face, my face is just, it feels like I jumped in a pool. It's just amazing. It just brings back so much life to my face. And I used to use this a lot when I was in high school and a little bit after I graduated but I did stop because the bottle, it's not too expensive. It's about $8 for one bottle, but it got a little pricey for my budget. So I recently just switched back to this. And as you can see, I do have um, <clears throat> some acne right here, breakouts, and I usually only break out on my cheeks. Um, but I noticed in high school, I never broke out. Um, but it's just recently that I stopped using this and the past three days I've been using this There's already a big improvement in my face. If you would have seen my face before it was disastrous So this for some reason is my acne cure So I always put this on after I get out of the shower and it just brings back life to my face So that's what I start off with and for me it never leaves my face greasy It it'll leave it greasy for a minute or so and then it just switches to be moisturized and feel like great skin. So I highly recommend Lubriderm. And to moisturize your body, it's really great. I just put it on all over when I get out of the shower. So Lubriderm, that's the first thing I use to moisturize my face. To prep your face for makeup, I recommend a primer. It'll just set your makeup off. You don't wanna paint your walls without a primer, so you wouldn't paint your face without a primer. So I use NYX um, HD Studio Photogenic Primer. I just go ahead and put it on my fingers. I don't really care.
and it looks really white but you're gonna put makeup over it and it will bring your skin back to life to real color so what I'm gonna do today is pretty much how I do my makeup every time I go out I don't even go out that often but when I do um, I do like to contour and sculpt that's just my preference so I will show you how I do that the first thing I do is I do a lot of people do lighter areas first I prefer to do dark areas first so I do have this um, concealer palette it's from Victoria's Secret I've had it for already like two years but I never really used it so I just thought I would just start using it until it ran out and then I would buy another one so for now this is what I use to sculpt I always go with this dark color here and I have this angled brush by Eagle Tools and this is what I feel is works the best to just sculpt so this is the one I use so you want to take your brown color and you just need to it's gonna be dark it's not gonna look pretty at first it'll look really weird so go ahead and get a pretty good amount on there and you want to start where your cheekbones are at and we're gonna define your cheekbones we're gonna define the nose we're gonna define the chin and the temple and forehead area so you get your brush and you start to sculpt And you're going to bring it from your hair all the way almost to the corner of your mouth, right where your cheekbone is. Just bring it up. Looks crazy, I know. It works, trust me. Okay. Do the same with the other side. It's gonna give you that really sculpted, defined look, which I personally really like. I just feel like it brings your makeup together, it makes you look put together. We do the temples, so. Just above your eyebrow right here where your temple is, go ahead and put a dot there. Put a dot on that one. This part gets a little messy. I'm going to move your hair back a little bit. I don't usually go too far into my hair yet because I'm going to blend it out later. So just do it along there. Along your hairline. Okay. Now for the nose. I always start right here where my eyebrow is and go down on both sides and bring it back up around my nose. And back down. For the chin, just dab a little bit, not too much, right there. So that's the dark areas of your face. And that's gonna bring so much definition to your face. It's gonna be crazy. Then, right now for the actual face foundation that I'm using, I'm using two different ones. I'm using Revlon Colorstay 24 hour um, liquid foundation. I love this. I really love this. It's probably one of the best drugstore um, foundations that I've ever used and I've used a lot um, I used to use Neutrogena I liked it but it wasn't as full coverage as I'd like it to be this one is crazy good full coverage if you have oily skin this is great for you so this one and I'm using it in the shade the only thing that I have a complaint about with this one is that I feel like I never find my perfect shade so I'm always having to kind of color match and mix different things so with this one right now I am mixing it with the makeup forever HD liquid foundation and um, in the color 115 so I just put like two pumps of this not even two pumps like one pump with a little bit of, a little goes a long way so 
These are the ones I'm using right now. Anyone you have, anyone that matches your skin tone will work for this look that we're doing. You could use a palette. I honestly just use the back of my hand. It just works easier for me since I'm used to art and I always just mix on my hands. So I just use the back of my hand for my foundation. And with this brush, this is a brush that I use to apply my foundation. Okay, so it's small, I know, but this is what I have. <laughs> and I always just utilize what I have. So I really want to get a beauty blender. I don't have the money right now, so I'm just going to use what I've been using. It's been working fine for me. It is harder to blend with this, I admit, but I've had a lot of practice. So you could use a beauty blender. You could use whatever you use to put your foundation on. I don't recommend your finger. It's really hard with this. So I recommend a brush or a beauty blender, either one. A beauty blender would probably be easier, but a brush does work the same. A little bit more work, but it works the same. So I'm using this, my foundation brush. And now you want to apply to all the areas that you're going to highlight and fill in. Because the rest of your face is not filled in. So, starting oh, under my eyes. just want to build it up right under your eye it's gonna be like a kind of a triangle so you're gonna go under your eye up and bring it down you also want to bring it down by your mouth and those last lines right there okay you don't have to fill it all the way to the brown contour just like that on the other side You want to fill in right in the middle of your chin. You want to fill right below that brown line. Okay, then you also want to carefully start bringing this foundation up and kind of like outlining your brow and bring it up. So you can see it just kind of fanning out right there. Don't You don't have to reach all the way up there yet. You're going to blend it in. Carefully bring it and place it right there in your nose where that empty space is. Now that you look like a clown, um, we are going to clean our brush. So, use a napkin just to dab it off. You don't have to completely clean it, just dab off the color. And we're going to start blending. This does take practice, I'm not going to lie. It's not something you're going to grasp overnight. Um, I would recommend you not do this your first time you're going to go out somewhere. Practice on yourself. Practice does make perfect, and it does take a lot of practice to blend very well. So I would just recommend you have a day off, just start practicing. Okay, so taking my clean brush, I'm going to start to feather out this dark color, the dark brown. You want to feather up in small little strokes up on your cheek. You're going to start blending in to this lighter color. If you have a beauty blender, it'll work the same way pretty much. So you're just going to be dabbing with your beauty blender, but with this, I just start using small strokes, blending up. This foundation does dry pretty quick, so sorry if I'm moving a little fast.
Then with the other side of your brush, you're gonna start blending all of this light color down into the brown. Okay, as you can see, there's already a difference. Okay, so. Okay, we're gonna go to this side. And also make sure you're blending these colors right onto your upper lip and cupid's bow. Never wanna apply too much foundation here. I feel like it's kinda cakey sometimes. It's okay if you get on your lips. See, I sculpt my lips afterwards. You can if you want to, you cannot. I just do that. Okay. Then we're gonna go with this side. Then go back and start blending it a little bit down. Don't put too much pressure. We still want that definition right here. Go ahead and start bringing that down into the light area that you highlighted right under here. That's what we want. That glowing definition right there. See how it transitions super light, goes dark, and you could just see that cheekbone definition that I really didn't have before. It wasn't defined, but see, with that we defined it. Moving on now, your chin. Go ahead and pat that color in, bring it down. I'm gonna bring this color down also right under our, our chin. So we want to bring it down to our neck, just so it doesn't look like we're a different color from our neck. Go back to our chin and start blending that color down. And you'll see the sculpting it does. And just blend that all over. You see how it kind of just makes your chin pop. That's what you want. You want to highlight that area. Okay, so going back now up here that foundation you have at the top, go ahead and just start feathering it out more. Here's some of your temples and get darker. Lastly, our nose. This is my favorite part for some reason. What we're gonna do is bring this dark area down. So, I'm gonna start blending into my eyebrow. Okay, now this part is probably my favorite. So, getting the brush, Another clean brush. <clears throat> Sorry. 
another clean brush. Well, the same brush, I just cleaned it. We're gonna, um, we're gonna get the brush and we're gonna start working this middle part, the white part, into the brown, but carefully, so. Lightly just tap the edges and you'll see them start to blend. Today I'm really not doing an eyeshadow look, so what I'm going to do is take what I have left and um, this NYX eye primer in ESBO3, which is pretty much a skin tone, and I'm just going to take a little bit on my foundation brush and put it on my eyelids. Okay, so I'm just taking a little bit of this and go ahead and just applying it to my eyelids. All right. And to finish off this look, I use NYX Mineral Set It, Don't Fret It um, Mineralizing Finish Powder, and I use this in light and medium. I apply this with my Makeup Forever Kabuki brush, which this is my favorite brush ever to put on your face. It's so soft, and I love it. I'm in love with it. Okay. Just tap on a little bit of the product. I don't even know if you need that much. To the lid. And use your brush. Swirl it in there. Tap it. And just start applying. Okay. And that is pretty much how I apply my foundation. Um, I will later go in and sculpt my lips, do my eyebrows, curl my eyelashes, put eyeliner on but for foundation itself this is it this is what I do a little crazy it's a little tedious but like I said I love the definition it gives as you can see it just defines it brings out it sets in brings out this area this area this area and I love it so yeah thank you for watching